just as you come under bridge 22 heading north on the Shropshire Union you're coming to Rye Hill Cutting. Nikki and myself both commented on how beautiful it is through here and how lovely it would be nice uh, how lovely it would be to moor up here but you wouldn't get solar it's uh, very overgrown lots of trees lots of greenery but it really is beautiful you could always start your engine if you need power very nice And for the majority of this cutting, you've got some beautiful Armco, ideal moorings. We are tempted, but as I mentioned earlier, there is the Ginger and Spice Festival on at Market Drayton this weekend. So we want to get as near as we can, really, so as we don't have to rush. It truly is beautiful through here. Well, Nicky's just popped out the boat with this little man. Hello. <laughs> Are you going in your life ring? Yeah. Oh, beautiful boy. It's a beautiful house there. We're just coming into High On. That was the former milk depot, apparently. What a beautiful home it is now. Just under the bridge here is a winding hole. There's usually a couple of old working boats and some lovely moorings at High On. And we have a Dixie on the roof. Well, I hope we still have a Dixie on the roof. He's, uh, he's in his little life ring there. I think he was biting Mummy's fingers. Mm. You biting Mummy's fingers? Dixie, Dixie, Pixie. Where what are, are you here? doing? <laughs> Loads of birds flying around here, loads of them. What are they, darling? Are they swallows. swallows? Loads of them. And Lord Talbot's Wharf here in the Winding Hole. Look at them all. Beautiful. Bridge 26 on the Shropshire Union is beautiful. It's a beautiful old turnover bridge as you come out of High On. Isn't that gorgeous? As I said earlier, we're planning on going to Market Drayton for Ginger and Spice this weekend, the food festival. There's lots of moored boats in places that we don't usually see moored boats. I don't know whether it's going to be very busy there. We'll see. Where's Dixie? There he is. Hello, little man. <laughs> oh, where's he gone? He's there reading he is. the book. Always, always. Oh, he's navigating. Yeah. Don't get too carried away, Dixie. Nestle looks like he is reading the book. I think he is. <laughs> Which way do we go? Straight on? Is it good, Dixie? Is it good? A good boy. At the moment, we're just going through nozzle cutting. 
And if you remember when they were digging the canal out, a lot of nosal cutting went into building the embankment there as you come out of Norbury. So we're soon going into the only tunnel on the Shropshire Union Canal and that's Cowley Tunnel. And that's if you can call it a tunnel. Not very far, not very long at all, but very nice and rugged. I'll show you. Well, one boat's already gone through and uh, I've kept over as far as I can, but going into the tunnel, a couple of boats were coming through. So this is the second one. And then it's Jugs's turn to go through. Very narrow in the cuttings here. Can't be helped. And yet another one's coming through, so I'll sit in the bushes. <laughs> now it's definitely our turn. see we've got bricks on this end of the tunnel but when you get to the other side in fact already you can see where they've carved the tunnel out of rock it's a very short tunnel really more like a wide bridge see the jagged edge as we exit the tunnel normally we'd stop in Nozel we do like it here but today we are carrying on but it's a beautiful place if you are on a boat and you haven't been before stop in Nozel uh, it is spelt differently, it's spelt Gnozzle, <laughs> but it is called Nozzle. Lovely place, go and explore it, have a nice walk around, spend a couple of days here, it's really good. Just as you come under the bridge, you've got the boat in, lovely pub. I think it just reopened after a couple of months being closed. And then it's Boat Central here. Thank you. Hi. Thanks very much. It's lovely mooring here, but just be aware if you moor up near the boat in, just up here is a place that keeps birds and they have got the noisiest, noisiest cockerel you've ever heard in your life. There's a lovely pub just up there by the bridge called The Navigation. That's where we celebrated Nikki's birthday earlier in the year. It was nice. So it's Primrose's turn for Mummy Cuddles. You're right there, Primrose. Is that nice? Yes. And if you're wondering, wonder win, wonder win, wonder win, 
if you're wondering where, what on earth? If you're wondering where Dale is, he's under that mound of cushions and pillars and Lord knows what. He likes it undercover. Well, we're just coming into Norbury Wharf and I think we've made a decision, haven't we, darling? Uh-huh. What are we doing? <laughs> we're heading to... Is it night? I don't know, you're the navigator. I think we are. Right, OK. So we're stopping at Norbury. We're getting a, a, a hat for the mm -hmm. chimney, uh, just in case it rains. Doesn't do the stove any good not to have a hat on. So, oh! Kingfisher. Kingfisher. Um, yeah, getting a hat uh, from the chandlery here and then moving through Norbury. Uh, and as Nikki said, we may be heading to Knighton. Knighton, is it called? I think so. Knighton. Do you know what? She's supposed to be telling me where I'm supposed to be going. <laughs> she hasn't got a clue. I'd have to be very lucky to pick it up. Nikki's pointing to the right here. There's a kingfisher here somewhere. Like dead branches. On the branches? Where there's a little gap there just before. Oh, right, up here. Right, I'll keep filming. We oh, did see. There he goes. Right. Oh, well, we did see one right. the other day and I tried to film it. I did zoom in when we were at Brood and I did get it a little bit, as you can see from this clip, but it's a little bit blurred, unfortunately. But I think that one was a little bit too fast for us. Oh, he was right here. Oh branch and he flew across he's gone over there oh he's over there now he's above us he's above us <laughs> he's on that branch at the front of the boat right oh now he's gone again now he's the uh, other side do you know what I get, I'm <laughs> giving up with this game <laughs> so just coming into Norbury now there's two boats moored up a little bit further on and there's a little gap in front of them so we're going to try and more chugs in there and nip to the chandlery and I think we may be carrying on. We're moored up. Norbury Junction, just up there. We've got some dear friends uh, that normally we'd stay and see them. Obviously, Simon and Tracy, but they've got something on for a few days. So hopefully we're going to meet up with them at Market Drayton at the food festival. That's the plan anyway. Uh, I'm going to nip very quickly up to the chandlery, see if I can get a hat for the chimney, and then we're on our way again. And then we're going through the beautiful, beautiful Grub Street cutting, virtually as soon as you come out of Norbury Wharf. Of course, Grub Street cutting is the home of the infamous high bridge with the telegraph pole. So it'd be nice to see that again. So, right, little hat, and then off we go again. Up there would have been the Shrewsbury Newport Canal. Now, sadly, unable to navigate. And just in that white shed at the end is one of a series of locks that would have been. Sad to see the canals closed down, but there are um, people that are trying to get it opened up again, but uh, I won't see it in my lifetime. I do love Norbury. Dixie's first time. You always bump into rabble on the canal. There's Tom and John, of course, from Pottering on the Canal. Hi, oh, yeah. Good to see you. Hello. Ethel. Oh, hello. Great to bump into John and Tom. Check their channel out. Uh, there's a link below. They're a little bit different, these guys, their channel. No. <laughs> if you're a swan, be very worried. That's all I'll say. But uh, we're going to have a coke with them. Um, we're going to go and get this hat. See you later, guys. We're going to go and get this hat and then uh, hopefully have a nice glass of coke with them. No hats. They had one that was galvanised. It was £24, £23.99. I ain't buying that. So uh, we'll carry on. We'll plod on without. But we're moving the boat up. We're going to go and have a little bit of a sit down with John and Tom from Pottering on the Canal or Narrowboat Pottering it is and uh, as I say the, the links below but uh, we're going to go and say hello to them too. Hi. Hi. And uh, stay here 
for the evening. As I've said before, plans change on the canal. As you can see, it's a gorgeous morning. I'm waiting for Dale to go outside one of these boats and have a poo outside their window. Um, he will, I know he will. Uh, yeah, we're cruising today. We're cruising with John and Tom. We actually went to the cafe last night. Oh, he's going, I'll be back. <laughs> That's Dale for you, right outside that boat's window. Right, I'll put him on now and uh, get Primrose. But yeah, we're, we're cruising with John and Tom today from uh, Narrowboat Pottering on the Canal, I think is the official title to the channel, but as I said, there will be a link below, but they're cracking guys, absolutely wonderful guys, and we do enjoy their company, we weren't planning on staying in Norbury tonight, um, as our dear friends Simon and Tracy aren't here at the moment, uh, we weren't planning on staying, but of course we saw them too, and uh, we just had to, we, we love them too, so we went to the cafe last night and I didn't do any more filming, so sorry about that, just give me a minute, I'll get Primrose. There is Primrose with a strange way of weeing. She puts one leg up in the air and oh, I don't know. She's beautiful. And we do love the Primrose. So with us going to the calf last night, we didn't do any filming really. We just came back to the boat and, and that was it. Um, but the kids now uh, are having their breakfast. They're having some toast, hence the engines on for the toaster. Um, and they're gonna do some schooling today. We don't know how far we're cruising. We were planning on going through to Market Drayton today, but it's about a five hour cruise or thereabouts. And quite frankly, I can't be bothered. Uh, so we don't know. I'm gonna go up in a minute once the dogs have, uh, have been to the toilet and have had me breakfast. Uh, I'm gonna go and have a word with John and Tom, uh, see what their plans are, see how far they want to go. I know uh, John doesn't like cruising too far, so uh, I suppose a nice little cruise and a moor up in the middle of nowhere. Um, and that'll be the day. Anyway, it's Primrose's turn. I'll sort stuff out and we'll get going. <sighs> Just been to see Tom and John and of course beautiful Ethel and I got one of their walkie talkies. So uh, back to Chugs, we're going to come up with a plan. Uh, I want to use the Elson point back there and get rid of some rubbish again. With four of us on board, we do tend to have to use them a lot, but uh, water should be okay. But I'm going to go and check with the boss. We're on our way. John and Tom are moored just past the junction there, so they're going to follow us on. It'd be nice to cruise with these guys. We haven't seen them for quite some time. So, yeah, it's nice. We're not sure of where we're going to moor up. We may do Turley Locks. We may moor up short of it. Uh, who knows? Um, I do want to be in Market Drayton by the latest for tomorrow, though, as uh, it's going to be very busy there, so we want to try and get a moor in. Uh, it'll be good for us and good for the kids, that market. And uh, the festival... There's lots going on. Yeah, we do like Norbury. And you do see some beautiful boats here too. It's a lovely place. All these old buildings would have been so busy back in the day. Maintaining the canals, maintaining the embankment. Repairing and building boats. They're actually restoring these two historic work boats now. So they'll be nice to see when they're done. Coming along nicely though. We're just coming up to John and Tom, and of course Ethel now on their beautiful boat. There's the old Shrewsbury Newport Canal that was. And there's John and Tom that is. <laughs> Hello again. Do you want to race? Yeah. 
<laughs> what, you can go slow. You can go slowest, I think I'd win that one. <laughs> See you in a bit guys. Beautiful boat, look at that paintwork. <laughs>